Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back and today we're taking a look at... Thanks. Alright, so as I was saying, we're taking a small break from the 2.0 discussions and looking at Tian Xinhan today. Ah, uh, Tian. Tian Xinhan. The one and only true visionary cyclops like martial arts master. In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at him, Spidey style. Let's get into it. Alright, so Tian. I know a lot of people have been waiting for this guy to drop, and to be honest, now that him and Yamcha actually have, it feels kind of surreal. I mean, it's nice because now we're getting a little bit of a break from the Saiyan characters. Don't get me wrong, as much as I love them, we needed a little bit of a change, I'm just saying. And characters like Tien and Yamcha just take us back to simpler times. Okay, so right off the bat, the figure has a very nice weight to it. Very substantial, and it makes you feel like you got your money's worth for it. I don't know if you guys are seeing this too, but Tien looks like he has some pretty big legs here. And I mean, I've been noticing this with a couple of the other 2.0 figures as well, namely Yamcha and Super Saiyan 3 Goku here. Yes, I know the pants are baggier because of the way that they're styled, but I kind of wonder if Tamashi's adding a little bit of heft to the legs, especially the lower leg, just to make the figures easier to stand up. And I will say, it's actually nice to have another character that isn't clad in Saiyan bag battle armor for once. But back to the figure itself, the sculpt is just amazing. It's sick. This guy is Jack, and in real life he'd probably blow all of us away, but it's funny how he gets chumped in Dragon Ball Super and pretty much the end of Z. And I'm really digging how this scar turned out on his chest. I mean, the sculpt is really well done, and it's not like they overshaded it or something to make it be like, hey, there's actually a scar here. Did you notice it? Did you notice it? Now speaking of the chest, it's almost like we got an entirely new mold for the torso. Or is it? Looking at Yamcha here, who's pretty much using the same chest as Super Saiyan 3 Goku, minus the blue shirt inside, I would say it's safe to say that this is a new sculpt for the torso, which is pretty nice to see. And I think with that, it definitely opens the door to other characters who could have a similar build to Tien. Now bringing it back to the colors of the figure, I'm really liking how they put some shading into the pants. I mean, they just could have left it drab and you know, one color shaded color, but they didn't. And it's like they actually put some more thought into the figure and not just the faces, which is really nice because it helps to give this figure a presence on a display. And yo, I'm loving the charcoal gray color on the shoes here, looking real dope and fresh. And yes, I left the plastic on just because I don't want paint rubbing going on right there. I think that under the right lighting, no changes need to be made to his coloring at all. Well done. Now with the articulation, I'm not gonna move every single piece of the figure around because there's like tons of other YouTubers out there who are already doing that. But I will say though, I'm glad the arm joints don't look too out of place. As you might remember me saying in some of my older videos, I wasn't a big fan of how this elbow segment looked on some of the other figures. But Tien just being a solely flesh colored figure, the joint just blends nicely in there, even when you bend it for the most part. And who else do you know that can kick themselves in the back of the head like this? They don't call it the crane school for nothing. Now aside from all the positives, Tien shares the same plight regarding articulation as the rest of the 2.0s, and that being is the lateral articulation. But with Tien, I think this is actually pretty good. You don't really see him doing too many acrobatic split kicks or anything like that, so it works for the figure. Alright, so let's get down to the faces, or heads in this case. Now I think with the bald characters like Tien and Nappa, they made a very wise choice and decided to include separate heads instead of face plates. He comes with four. Maybe next time they'll throw in a couple more pairs of arms too. Now the first one is your standard stern looking serious face that of course is a must for every Figuarts. Not much to say about this one here other than good job on the detail Tamashi. Now the second head is the angry or screaming or tribeam face and I quite like this one. Not only is the detail immaculate on it, but as weird as this sounds, look at the way they did that vein there. I mean, I don't know, they couldn't have done it any better than that. They didn't put any weird shades of green or blue on it, they didn't make it overly pop out too much. It's just right. Weird thing to say and point out, I know, but hey, it is what it is. <laughs> oh, the third and fourth faces. Now don't get me wrong, I am very happy that they included these. Finally, we can have someone else doing something other than looking serious or yelling in our displays. Now having said that, these faces are, to put it lightly, very expressive and interesting indeed. The first of these faces is what I like to refer to as the Oh man, I really gotta go take a dump face Or I forgot to turn off the stove at home and someone's gonna kill me face Very expressive like I said and it's definitely different Now the same goes for this face here 
except this face reminds me a lot of this. A little bit weird, but different nonetheless, and an accepted change. If someone could let me know down below where exactly in the anime these two faces came from, that'd be great, because I'm sure there's a meme somewhere out there for them. Alright, so now let's talk about the hand. Yes, he comes with a pair of fists. Yes, he comes with some energy blast open hands. Yes, he comes with the grabby martial arts sparring hands. But let's talk about the hands everybody really wants to get down to. Yo, straight up, these are some of the best hands in the Fig Arts game to date. Look at these things, man. I mean, like, they actually have pegs and peg holes. Can you see that there? Now, while they aren't the easiest things to catch on to each other, they totally make a difference. If you watch my Super Vegeta review, you know how much it irked me that it was so tough to get Vegeta in a proper final flash pose because his hands and arms wouldn't just move so close together, so it was always a guessing game. But they just made it that much easier for you to make an actual tri-beam pose, which is awesome. And for those of you who didn't really know about this yet, they are working on 3.0 articulation and that will actually feature some of the hands actually having <laughs> movable segments. But seriously, these tri beam hands score some massive points for this figure, and I mean 9 out of 10 people are probably going to pose him like this at some point, and the fact that you can do so almost flawlessly is a home run in my books. Now lastly we have the gun hand, or what I'm going to refer to as the Dodon Ray hand. So this one's not nearly as crazy as the last pair of hands, but definitely a welcome addition nonetheless, as it gives us yet another posing option, and really that's what this line of figures is all about, am I right? Oh man, I can't wait to play with my toys! Uh, da, 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 da. Now lastly, if you're wondering if I would talk about it, yes, he does come with Chiaotzu. Or Chaos, as he's apparently known. Now while Chiaotzu is definitely doomed and locked into this one pose forever, I think we gotta give him points for including him still. Sure, he doesn't have as much finesse in his paint job as Tien does, but hey, cut the man some slack, he's an accessory. Now if you didn't already know, he's posed like this because he's supposed to give Nappa a big hug, or at least give the option to recreate the scene in which he blew himself up with. So what do you guys think of Tien? Did you pick him up? Will you pick him up? My recommendation is you should. I mean, come on, you gotta complete the Tournament of Power lineup and you definitely can't do that without Tien. Just a great figure overall and I don't have much if any complaints with him at all in regards to comparisons to the rest of the 2.0 line. And just before I forget, it's pretty crazy how they continued the scar all the way onto the top of his shoulder here. That's some accuracy. Thanks for tuning in guys, as always drop a comment down below and let me know what you think of the figure. And another thing I wanted to mention is I'm hoping to grow the channel even more, we're almost at 1500 subscribers and I think it'd be pretty hilarious if we grew the channel to a point where we could start developing hashtags to throw towards Tamashi or Bluefin to actually make our voices heard even louder. Thanks for watching guys, and as always I hope the best of your todays for the worst of your tomorrows. Peace.